and then they start seeing in their PR, their personal record, and it's dropping the timeline. So that's, that, the, I'm sorry, I got chills now. That's the thing that actually we look forward to seeing because that says a lot about them. Cross country is especially is not just about the running, it's about the character and the stick to itness. They know they'll have to carry through for a lifetime. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I was really good until yesterday at the bank. Uh, you know, I sent my last parent email out yesterday. And uh, it, Tom said, that's like I said, that's the greatest email I've ever read. It, it, it's really funny because I was an absolute punk in high school. <laughs> and uh, I was in a situation to where I should have been expelled. And I had a coach who was an administrator who saw something in me and sort of headed off in the past. A situation that would have allowed me uh, to go down another road. He and I talked the other day, the greatest human being. And I asked him, I said, why me? He said, you were a total ass. <laughs> he said, but you, but I saw something in you. You were bored with school. You had other things you wanted to do. And, uh, and I said, well, why did you she push me into education? He said, because you had done all the bad things. And he said, there was no kid that was going to pull anything over on your eyes. He said, you knew what was going to go on. And he said, remember that. And I have tried to do that. We have never cut a kid. We have never had a kid. If a kid had a problem going home, we took them. And, and they had, I fed a lot of kids on the road. And, and just and the point is in education is, it's, it's, we need to be there for the kids. We have got some great kids out here. And we've got some lost kids out here that needed a home. And, and hopefully, maybe a little bit, we provided them a home, something to do. Uh, and you know, and it's been a real honor to be here. When, when I got hired, uh, well, she was already here. And I came out of the city, and I'll never forget, Jan Dennis was my first principal at the middle school. And she's, she was like, I'm going to give you this class, and it's just rough as it can be, and, and you're going to have to handle it. And I had just, I had just come from inner city Birmingham, and I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. These are great <laughs> kids. And four or five of them ended up really being phenomenal kids. They just needed a little direction. So that's what we tried to do as a program. We try to provide here, and, and I look around the room at all you guys here and how many I've taught with. Uh, you know, Lisa and I go way back, Jennifer goes teaching and together and administratively, and, and then the number of people that Nita has taught with, and, um, and Phyllis, years ago at the junior high, the old junior high before it sunk in the ground, and um, <laughs> it's all science together. And so, you know, it's just been phenomenal, and then Kathy and, and her family taught all her kids, and taught all the Vernons, and, and, and it was funny to have, uh, you know, our wrestling coach come up here at Chris, first, I, and he was my first period, first, yes, and that was a class. And uh, so it's been, it has been a glorious ride, and when um, I got hired out here by Kevin Walsh and Jack Wood, uh, you know, I didn't want to, I was tired of coaching football in the city, and I told Jack what I wanted to do, and he said, well, you got to start, he said, your job is you need to start the middle school football program, and I did that, I got it off the ground for him and did that for about four or five years and then went to him and said, you know, I'm gonna quit football and I'm gonna do cross country full time because we're doing, I was doing cross country football at the same time. And, and if you, any of you know Coach Wood, he is, he is a colorful man and um, he had a few choice words to say to me. And then at the end of it, after he got saying his piece, he said, we'll go out there
He said, go out there and be the best damn coach. We remember that. And I've tried. And uh, I feel stupid. <laughs> but this is actually, you know, if I told him 30 years ago, I said, I will never go to another school. I was tired of bouncing around the city and the county. I will never go anywhere else. I said, I want a home. I don't feel it here. Come back, y'all. I'm not eloquent enough to quote, to write, and so I quoted the three great poets, somewhat of our generation, because we went to opposing high school, so. Uh, first of all was, was our boy Jerry Garcia. What a long, straight trip he's been. And, uh, and I, I quoted a little, uh, little free bird in there. And then, uh, so it was just, you've got to be traveling on. It's just, but thank y'all, and we'll always be here and as I told the kids and the parents yesterday, our house is always open for you. There's always a pot of coffee on. And, you know, if y'all ever need me to do anything, I'm sure he says I'm not going anywhere. He's still going to call me. <laughs> Tom says that too. And uh, I'll stay and help Tom this indoor and outdoor season. And then next year, we're looking forward to the 30th annual Husky Challenge. Challenge. We'll come back for that. Alumni and, run. But I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be nice to be able to go and see the trees in the fall in Vermont. And, Colorado. I've got some. I've got a former that wants me to come and see him in Oregon, and we may not have to burn the road to Oregon. But thank y'all for everything, and I appreciate everything y'all done. Thank you.